Many pilots mistakenly believe that just watching for wires can provide sufficient reaction time, but that is false. We hear from capable, experienced pilots who survived wire strikes say similar things. I just didn't see them, or there was no time to react. Wire hazards exist nearly everywhere we fly. Since wires can be completely invisible in some environmental conditions, flight crews must be trained to assess the threat and verify the presence of wires without relying solely on their ability to see and avoid them. Nearly all of us face routine exposure to the unforgiving wire environment. With its nearly 200,000 miles of high voltage transmission lines and millions of miles of low voltage lines running throughout the United States. If you're counting solely on seeing and avoiding, good luck. And wires aren't the only low altitude threats. In a recent fatal helicopter accident, the aircraft impacted a 1,000 foot radio tower at night. Although the tower had high intensity lighting at three separate elevations, it may have been masked by surrounding urban lights the helicopter impacted 100 feet below the top of the tower. That accident suggests three mitigations. One, be aware of the highest obstructions along the route. Two, plan routes to avoid obstacles. And three, maintain aggressive lookout discipline. Even with the best flight planning and lookout, uncharted wires can be present. And as a wire strike survivor, I experienced just that. If all else fails, Technologies can also supplement your obstacle avoidance efforts. Laser-based detection systems, power line detection systems, helicopter terrain awareness and warning systems, and as a last resort, cable cutters. I got lucky and the cable cutters installed worked for me. However, factors like speed, cable thickness, and tension affect performance, so the effectiveness of cable cutters cannot be guaranteed. Avoidance is always our primary defense. Here are some wire strike avoidance techniques. Look for all power line telltales, like right-of-way clearing or support towers, and always cross transmission lines directly over support towers and above the topmost guide wires. Assume that wires are present in any unfamiliar area until a thorough high reconnaissance confirms otherwise. Maintain a sterile cockpit in the wire environment and climb to safety if distraction or confusion occurs. Stay above wires when you can, and when you can't, use whatever information and technology is available to mitigate your risk. Bottom line, if you want to fly to a higher standard, just fly higher. For the FAA Safety Team and the U.S. Helicopter Safety Team, I'm Chris Hill.